Password managers are very important these days, especially with the sheer number of accounts that we have from social media to the work uh, emails that we have, as well as, you know, online banking logins that we have. Creating a single password for all of this, which many of us are guilty of, is definitely a no-no. So to make sure that we have our accounts secure, and especially for us freelancers who work for clients who entrust their logins with us, Password Manager is definitely something that will be very useful and a necessary tool that we should have in our arsenal. So today we're going to delve into Microsoft Edge's Password Manager, how you can use it and how you can personalize it for your use, and at the same time, how this could actually help you secure your accounts. So to get started, I'll go ahead and jump onto my computer and join me as I show you how you can configure Microsoft Edge's password manager on your desktop. To get started, first thing is, of course, you need to open your Microsoft Edge browser. Once you have your browser, go ahead and click on your profile avatar found on the upper left-hand corner of your browser screen. Okay, from here, click on the settings icon or the cog icon. Once you are on the profile window, go to passwords, which you will find right under Microsoft Wallet. And go ahead and click passwords. Click settings. So right now, you see here under passwords, all the settings that you need to customize the passwords settings for your Microsoft Edge. You will notice that under offer to save password, the option to offer is to save passwords is currently grayed out. Now the reason for that one, if you click on that icon right next to the toggle button, you will see that there is currently another extension that is being used for this particular purpose. So it says here that this setting is managed by one password, password manager. So what you need to do if you would like to replace this option with Microsoft Edge built-in password manager is to click on the link. And from here, you will have to toggle this to off. Once you have turned off one password or any other password manager that you currently use, once you go back to password, the offer to save passwords is no longer grayed out. So you can go ahead and toggle it and turn it on. All right. So at the same time, it also automatically saved passwords. You can turn it on or you can also turn it off whichever is your preference. Also, for the autofill passwords and passkeys, there are three options that you have right here. All right, so the first one, it says, fill website password and sign in automatically or suggest available passkeys. So that is the default uh, setting. For the second one, it says, prompt for the device password before filling website password. If you turn this on, what will happen is that you can choose an option where it will always ask permission or it will only ask permission once per browsing session. So that is for the second option. That is for prompt for device password. The next one is Prompt for the custom primary password before filling website password. Okay, so for this option, you will be creating a primary password. So this will be a separate password and this password is what you will be using to open Microsoft Edge passwords. So if you're going to fill out a, a website or a form, before you can fill it out, you will be prompted to log in your primary password. 
And again, take note of this uh, alert message here that your primary password will be saved on this device or the device where you're setting it up. All right, so I'll go ahead and create a primary password. So you just have to make sure that you remember your primary password. All right, so let's go ahead and test it now and see how this would actually work in real life. All right, so I'll go to this social champ and I'll log in. All right. Now you will notice that on the browser address bar, you will notice that there is now this key icon that appears. And if I click on that key icon on the browser address bar, you will see there that the password was saved automatically. All right, let's go ahead and click manage password. Okay, so here you will see the current passwords that were saved and there's also this password security check. So here you will see if any of your password has been leaked. So, so far since I already have two passwords and it's very new, it's not leaked. It's also not been reused and it's also a strong password. So, so far we pass all those checks for the two websites that we have our passwords saved. All right, going back, let's go ahead and edit this password or just check on the password that we have saved. Let me go ahead and open social champ. I click and right here, it's prompting me to enter the password. Once you've entered the password, just click OK. So if you want to edit, go ahead and click edit. And here, uh, you will have the, another layer of options that was previously not available or not shown. So here we can set the category and we can also add notes. So if we click on the drop down under category, you will see there are some options that we can use. So for this one, we look for social media, then we click on done. Now, if for example, you want to add a new uh, website, even without going to the website itself, you can click on add. Just fill out the fields, the required fields, like the website URL, the username, and the password, and then click on save. All right, so the next thing is, if you notice, there is this ellipsis or the three dots uh, to the right of settings. Now, if you click on that, you will see that there are other options, which allows you to import passwords, export passwords, as well as check on those declined sites and apps. So for importing passwords, you can import passwords from a different browser. You can import from Google Chrome. You can also import passwords from a CSV file. All right, so that is how you can set up Microsoft Edge Password Manager. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing. Again, we provide tutorials, walkthroughs, and reviews, especially geared for those who are working online as a freelancer. So thank you so much for joining me in this video. Until next time, thank you for watching.